Hi there, you probably came across this video because you searched for Pentair screen logic or how to add Wi-Fi to my pool system or something similar. Well, you're in the right place because today on The Pool Professor, we're gonna help you set up your own wireless connection kit for the Pentair pool systems. I'll walk you through what you need to order, how to install it, and how to set up the app. Make sure you watch part two of this video where we'll dig into actually using this app and some cool features. The ScreenLogic 2 kit allows you to control your Pentair pool and spa system from your Apple Watch, iPhone, Android, or even a computer. Anywhere in the world, you can check your pool, adjust settings, temperature, etc. First, you'll need to either have an EasyTouch or IntelliTouch control panel. They look like this. Then you'll need to order the Pentair 522104 wireless connection kit. Check the video description below where I'll have links to these exact products. It's important that you check the links because there are many different versions of these and we need to make sure you order the correct one. Okay, real quick, let me describe how this works before we install it. You're going to wire this little outdoor antenna to your control box. That will speak to another antenna inside your home. The indoor antenna will be connected to this little box that needs to be plugged into your home router and supplied with ethernet cable to get an internet connection. The range for this setup is 150 feet, but the more walls that you have to go through, it will quickly cut the distance down. So try to find a place for the antenna to be mounted up high on top of your control box or on a wall or fence, and the receiver to be close enough to speak to the pool antenna. I suggest you install both and then play and optimize their positions later for optimal signal strength. Okay, to install this outdoor antenna, we need to attach the included four cable white wire to the control board. Depending on how far away you plan to mount the antenna from the control panel, you'll need more or less of the white wire. If you're going to mount it up on a fence or a wall nearby, use the long wire. I picked the short one here just to make it easier to film. Tighten down the screws once you pick your wire. Then we'll slide this control board into the outdoor weatherproof housing and screw it into place. Now we want to shut off the electricity to control panel. First, turn off your pool system by pressing the mode until you reach the service here. Then turn off all the circuit breakers on the control panel just to be safe. And if you have more circuit breakers that lead to this panel um, near your home, you can also shut those off as well. Now with a flathead screwdriver, remove the two screws on your control panel. The panel is a drop down and it will reveal the install location. We'll want to clip our small plastic black connector to this area of the board. But first, you need to route your white wire from outside the control panel back into it so that we can mount the antenna nearby. If you mount your antenna inside the metal box like I do here, don't expect exceptional range, but it actually did work fine for me for 50 feet or so. Next, we attach this small black plastic adapter to the end of the antenna wire and connect it to your control board. Next, close up the panel and turn your power back on. Don't forget to take it out of service mode. Now we'll set up the indoor antenna. You'll need a location next to your home internet router. If your router doesn't have any spare ethernet ports on the back, you may need to purchase a small cheap four point switch uh, to get more outlets. And I'll put a link in the video description for the one that I like. Using your phone, take a photo of the sticker here because you're gonna need to use it later and it's gonna be helpful for the app setup. Okay, to set up the app, download the Screen Logic app. There are several on the App Store, so you'll want this one. You can scan the QR code on the screen here if you want. Click Allow to let it search for your protocol adapter, and like magic, you will be connected. The Local tab will allow you to control all features of your pool, but you must be on your home Wi-Fi system. To get it to work outside your home, for example on your cell phone signal or at a friend's Wi-Fi, you will need to set up the remote tab. For this, you need to enter the number from the photo that we took earlier, for example 1F14A8, and the default is no password. Hit connect and now you are back into your system, controlling the pool from anywhere in the world. Anytime you get a new phone, iPad, etc., you'll need this six digit code to set it up again, so keep it saved somewhere. Okay, now that we have the system set up, 
go ahead and make sure it works for a few days with the antenna locations and distance. If you have any issues, move the outside antenna higher up and reduce any wall or distance between the two antennas. Okay, that's the end of part one. Please leave a like and a subscribe if you found this useful. And then make sure you watch part two where we'll dig into the features of actually using the app. We'll see you in the next video.